critical challenge that faces us in the world today is to build a unity of purpose of the many struggles that we have that are today in silos. We are not uh, relying upon uh, the potential that the world has. And I'm convinced that if we work towards uh, another paradigm and reflect on the ground we are standing on, there will all of a sudden a world movement break out. We won't create a world citizens movement. But what we can certainly do as all of the people out there is we can contribute our energy to create the conditions that make a world citizens movement possible. For me a world citizens movement is a movement where, where everybody is connected and everybody's opinion is valued. A movement has strategic goals and objectives. Organization of civil society are entering in a movement, are making movement together. I do not believe that a world citizen movement is possible. I know that it's already going. So yes, number one, a world citizens movement is possible. Number two, a world citizens movement to reclaim the way politics, mainstream politics is exercised and practiced is also possible. And I think the sooner we start listening to this and reading the signs of our time, the better, because we'll start reinventing the things that have been broken and fix the meta-narrative. I do believe in a world citizens movement because it's already existing. The only thing that we might bring new to the discussions is how to synchronize our energies to have a faster effect or a faster solution. I certainly believe in a world citizens movement. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure that this is the uh, that what we have right now is a world citizens movement. I think, in fact, we need to be supporting and facilitating the the social movements, the political movements. I think those are the, the people who actually will be leading the transformation. I don't believe that a world citizen movement can work. It's a sort of utopia who at the end reach nothing. I really believe that the people have to fight for something more or less concretely and more or less achievable. It's something that I believe in. It's something that I think is really needed. A movement does exist and that actually we have a need to bring these different movements together. What we need today is a very simple message that captures the imagination of the people of the world to build a citizens movement to deliver a new world. We really need not to overemphasize our institutional differences. What we need to do is to focus on the issues why those institutions were formed. I strongly believe in a world citizens movement, but if we want a real change, we need the world citizens movement to reclaim the F word. Because what the how come feminism is not part of system change? There is a need for more opinions and more examples, not just for the European world, but also for Africa and South America. On a global aspect, we need to listen. It's very important now that everybody, every NGO has to come into a single movement. This is the time to build new rules, new roles, new alliances and break old barriers. To be more courageous, in uh, putting the right words uh, on the right phenomenon, standing up collectively for a system change. All the movements, all the civil society actors to realize that we are striving to one great goal for the better world. People around the world who believe in human dignity and freedom and the same values uh, should stand up for each other. Very ordinary people with extraordinary solutions. Go back to ordinary people, let's learn from them, let's build on that basis and build a grassroots upwards global movement. To open up a different kind of power that exists within us. Every organization in civil society today needs to ask themselves whether or not they are making the impact that really, truly matters.